Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South and I am with Rebecca Turner. She is a dietitian and she is also an author and she has a radio show with Super Talk, Monday through Friday, right? Mm -hmm. 2 to 3 p.m. I've been following Rebecca for a while now and everything she does I want to know, especially on your group page because I've learned so much. Well, I appreciate that. So thank you for being with me oh, today. It's my pleasure. I want to thank North Park Mall in Regional Mississippi. We're actually in the mall doing the video today. You may hear some kids in the background, so if that's what it is, they're here on their field trip. But I love the new North Park, hashtag new North Park. It is beautiful, mm -hmm. is it not? And especially if you are familiar with a uh, previous North Park, maybe over the last maybe five to ten years, it's a discouragement to come in here, but now you'll be totally encouraged. It's got a new facelift, you see new stores, everyone's bustling around and exciting. And it's just a fresh perspective on what's the possibilities. Not only here in North Park, but here in the metro. It is, and it's got so many things this summer for the uh, children. I'll talk about that in a few minutes for to do during the, the week for your kids. And it's mostly free. So I love that part, too, that they're giving back to the community in a way that we love, especially with nieces and nephews that I have. We're always looking for something free to do. But let's get into you. Rebecca, okay. tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up? Woo, how much time do we have since you know, <laughs> uh, No, I'm kidding. So I am born and raised, rooted right here in Mississippi. Born, raised, educated, married, all of the above. Um, I'm a Terry girl from Terry, Mississippi. Graduated from Terry High School. And then um, was educated at the University of Southern Mississippi. I got my undergraduate as well as my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics and became a registered dietitian. I uh, had big dreams of moving off to the city and going to Chicago for um, my extended education. But I met a boy. Oh, <laughs> gosh. You know, I met a, a boot-wearing boy who was rooted here in the great state of Mississippi. So uh, those plans got a little bit changed, but I wouldn't change anything. So I worked, my first job was at Forest General. I was a wellness dietitian there. I really got to understand uh, the healthy eating perspective from more of the employee uh, mindset, not so much of a clinical one. And then just to sort of, you know, narrow the last 10 years of my life professionally down, my husband got relocated to the metro area. And so from there, I left the clinical, as clinical as I ever got setting. I worked for the Partnership for Healthy Mississippi as the oh. Obesity Prevention Coordinator. So I really got to see some of the health concerns that our state faces from a public health perspective, maybe from a, a different angle than just those that have the means or the access to live a healthier lifestyle and choose not to. Now I got to see some of the, the, the other struggles that face some of our residents here in Mississippi. Um, but I served there for about a year, and then I went over to work with our farmers. Agriculture is Mississippi's top industry, and we have some hard-working dairy farmers. I worked on behalf of them. And it's actually there that I got a little taste of being in the media, print, TV, radio, as a spokesperson for them. And I really found my home, Cindy, in where I felt like I could help make a difference in Mississippi. So if you followed me, you may know that I wrote an article for about five years in the Clarion Ledger. I um, And now, though, I host uh, Super Talk Mississippi's Good Things with Rebecca Turner from 2 to 3 p.m. Monday through uh, Friday. So it's it's been a interesting professional career, to say the least. If you would have asked me as a young dietetic intern at Southern Miss if I would end up with my own radio station, I would have asked you how much tequila did you put in your margarita? <laughs> well, I love it. I listen to it because you all, your guests are always humble. They always give back. This, their stories are amazing, and they're Mississippi stories. We're in Mississippi. That's what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. They're always so amazing to me because you, you, you're like me. I look for the stories that give back, number one, but also affect. How does it affect you? And, and the people around you, and that's what I see in your show. That's what I see on your that your Facebook page. She has a group page you can go to, which is wonderful. I learned so much on that page. Just the fact that where you've come from, you just said I never would imagine being in the platform where I could give back the way that I do. Right, and I think we can all agree that whether it's print, TV, or radio, there's enough politics talk. There's enough sports talk. There's enough whose side are you on sort of talk or, or agendas being pushed and it doesn't matter what side of the fence you on there's a there's a side uh, in, ter in terms of fat fighting each other so when I was approached by Super Talk to have the opportunity for a statewide show the first thing I came out of my mouth was it will not be politics 
It will not be sports related. It will not be a place of um, you know heated debates unless it's over fun things like how you make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Or or, or her last last question yesterday was which what's your favorite kitchen gadget, which is yeah. wonderful. Right, and you get to learn new things. So. Being rooted, born, raised, educated, married here in the state of Mississippi, I know we have our problems, trust me, but I also know we have our shining lights, from the people to the places to the things to do. And whether we want to recognize it or not, we all have common ground and things that we actually come together and agree on. Right. And good things is just that hour, I call it your radio happy hour, every day, Monday through Friday, on all your Super Talk Mississippi stations, that we come together, we take a breath of fresh air, we focus on the good, the positive stories, the people that are making a difference, and we have a little fun. Because, Cindy, one thing I've learned in 35 years on this planet, <laughs> in life is way too important to take so seriously all the time. That's right. That's yeah. right. And I love what you said about the good, and that's what, around the town of the South, it complements what you're doing, mm -hmm. too, because we get to go out and tell stories all over, not just, we don't just focus on Mississippi, even though that is my home state. I wanted people in this north, if they were gonna take a trip, why well, go out of the country? We have so much to do right in Mississippi and all of the 14 other states. So, as I was coming up with this concept, I would look for people like you who have given back and who do focus on the positive and good things, and thank you for that. Well, I appreciate that. And the other like, arm to what I do and sort of my mission is the fact that I am a published author. I have my book, Mind Over Fork, as a registered dietitian. It's not your traditional diet book. Um, again, I've worked as a dietitian for 10 years, and I've seen it all in terms of the struggle. And with 45 million Americans on any given day being on a diet, and it's a $33 billion industry, with only 10% of you who do choose to go on a diet seeing this long-term weight loss, I started to realize that it's not what's on the plate that's really keeping us from our healthiest selves. It's what's in our mind. And it can be um, really refreshing for someone to give you permission to think about what you're thinking about in your relationship with food and coming at it from a different perspective. Um, you know, for every story there's the bright lights, but there's also the dark spots. So, you know, some you won't find a dietitian that got into nutrition that has a healthy relationship with food. <laughs> um, we all had our struggle, or, or at least our interest in it. And the reason I became a dietitian, and it still holds true today, is I am fascinated by this idea of what we choose to eat and what we choose to drink. Just those choices alone have such a huge impact on our overall health and well-being. Mm -hmm. um, but left to just cultural devices, that can become quite an obsession. And it can right. become an unhealthy um, something that we're seeking after. And it was in my early 20s when I uh, started to develop a very unhealthy relationship with food and body image. Um, and to the point where, where I share my, my journey back to a healthy relationship with food in the book Mind Over Fork. And if you do purchase it, you literally are reading my life's journey. Um, the steps and tools that I provide in this book as well as the eating style is exactly the things that helped me get out of some really dark places. Um, I'm open with it in the book. I've been happily married for, or married, mm. uh, but no, mostly happily, <laughs> happily. For, for 12 years now. So 12 years ago, whenever we were planning our wedding, which should be one of, of a girl's happiest moments, I vividly remember sitting on the couch, um, sitting on my husband to be's lap and in tears because I had to eat cake in front of people. Oh, and wow. so it's silly kind of now again that was it's uh, really not but it's not and I'm not alone and there's a lot of women who struggle with both ends of the spectrum whether you're walking around and you look fit and fabulous you can be living a miserable life on the inside mm -hmm. depending on how you think about food or how food controls your daily thoughts right. and then if you're on the other spectrum where the world is telling you you just need to lose weight or shaping up for X Y and Z standards um, you too live in a world where you're self-condemning and self-loathing and, and having a lot of guilt and, and uh, things associated with food. And the one thing I learned out of my early 20s, other than too much tequila is never a good thing, <laughs> is, um, is you know, your, your goal weight does not always equal your, your or your dream weight does not always, always equal your dream life. And when I started focusing on creating the dream life that I wanted and letting whatever weight that was sort of happen, real happiness, real joy, real well-being really started to develop for me. And I want that for women more than anything else is the freedom 
to aspire to be this healthy, to, to create their own definition of healthy based on their own standards and not the world's standards. And from a faith-based perspective, I also want them to, to, to know that they, they should be healthy for the right reasons and um, that, that Jesus doesn't care about the size of their thighs. <laughs> I love that. I and love so, that. you know, and there's a lot of conversation around that. It's a, there's a lot of freedom in allowing women to have the opportunity to uh, feel comfortable in their own skin. Mm -hmm. You were not put on this earth to weigh less. Let's just put it that way. Wow, I love that. And I love that because in, in most people in their lifetime have had some kind of struggle with the idea of weight, what they're supposed to look like, what, you know, the outside world dictates to us what is beautiful. And, and I, I agree with everything that she said. That is not true. Your beauty is when you find yourself and you have that freedom in yourself to express it, whether you're 115 pounds or 145 pounds. Yeah. Um, it's just weight. You've got to be healthy. Okay. Yes. There's, I mean, there's no roadblock around getting healthy. And there there's a large... A portion of at least Mississippians who could be in better health right right but one thing I've learned and I would challenge you is the weight you think you need versus the weight you actually need to be in better health are two conflicting numbers and usually it's a little bit of va vanity and that is choosing the one you want and you give up on the whole shebang on the one that you need because it's a little more modest um, but again, I go back to your, your, your dream weight will not create your dream life for you. And if you focus on creating your dream life, then the weight will sort of figure out itself. And I learned I like cheese and lime and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of your and that's routine. Part of my <laughs> routine. It keeps me happy. Speaking of that, I love to ask this question um, with my guests. If there's one thing that people don't know about you, Mm. Through your books and through your public persona, through everything you've done, what would it be? One thing that people don't know about me, oh, there's probably a lot of things. Um, I always get, Cindy, that assumed that I'm a great cook. <laughs> mm, I can cook, and I think you'll notice through following me and some of my recipes, they turn out delicious, but they're not chef-inspired and they're not <laughs> hardcore. So it always tickles me that they get that they assume because you're a dietitian that you have to be some whiz in the kitchen. I, I really thought that. And that is the like I, I the struggle is real and to try to put healthy meals together with limited uh, skills and desire. Let's be honest with that. I mean, right. I don't have the desire to cook like my mother did either. Right. Um, and so that's always funny to me. But I'm also big into um, feeling empowered through weightlifting. And you will get a taste of that, especially if you follow me on Instagram more than necessarily on Facebook. But it's breaking down these barriers that women have to be dainty or women have to be uh, thin and that you can't be healthy and beautiful lifting weights and, and really striving to be as strong as you want to be physically. And that's a journey I didn't start until after having my first daughter. Got my second one on the way. And so at 33, I think I picked up my first barbell. And until it comes June 2nd, I think they're having the next Mississippi Barbell statewide competition, I hold the state record Oh, for old ladies, which is 35 and uh, up. Age. No. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, so I hold the Mississippi state record for um, Olympic lifting, and I'm pretty proud of that because it was totally out of my comfort zone to get into that sport that completely went against everything I was raised to believe the woman, the woman physique was created for or to do. And now with my second pregnancy, six months in, I am floored uh, at what the what the woman body can do mm -hmm. while pregnant um, in terms of weightlifting and exercise and all of that. It's been it's been a phenomenal journey. Well I can't wait to see where you go with this. And y'all follow her. She's on Facebook, Instagram, you on Twitter? Yeah, but I'm there, but me too. I'm there. There's a presence there. I'm like you, I have Instagram. You can follow her stories. You can also like her page and then join her group. What's the name of the group? So on Facebook, just search Good Things. Oh, no, I'll put, I'll put the link on it. Okay, ready. Rebecca Turner. And just click join, and I will let you into that family of fun. Um, again, positive vibes only. We do not take life seriously. <laughs> and uh, the only thing we do take seriously is spreading the good that happens in the great state of Mississippi. But you can find the rest of me personally at the Rebecca Turner on all the on the sites. And you can purchase my book online, 
Mind Over Fork, if you would like that, Amazon. I also put her website on here. You can read about her and her life, everything she's doing. Is your book on there also? Yeah. You can buy the book from there, too. I, I love um, vlogs like this because I learn so much. But I also learned that when you see someone live their best life and strive to live their best life, it's a daily struggle. Yes. But but it, it reinforces to you that you can do it too. So thank you so much for joining oh, yes, me. You can. I love we'll following you. We'll have you back on after you have the little baby. All right. Cannot wait. I'll and have some wine in my hand. I want to have the wine in your hand with you. We'll do a wine tasting. Yeah, we'll do a wine tasting. Of all right, we'll do that, y'all. Thank y'all for joining us. Um, please like and share this vlog. We want everybody in the South to know who Rebecca Turner is, what she stands for, and what she does. And we could not do these vlogs without our sponsors, North Park Mall. The Crawdad Hole in Jackson, Mississippi. It's the best crawdad, in my opinion, and also shrimp that you'll put in your mouth. Um, the, the link is on the, the description. Also, Kim Goodson, Crawlack Realtors, if you're looking for a house to, to buy or sell, she is top notch. She's one of the best in the business. She knows what she's doing. Give her a call. And also, Perfect Pooch is where I take my Perfect Pooch to get her grooming. They do grooming and boarding. And my puppy absolutely loves her. She runs up to her. When I go get her, she just looks at me like, what are you doing? I want to stay. So y'all, if you're looking for a great place who will love your puppies like we do, or your, your, your kitty cats, I just have a puppy, go see them with the perfect pooch. Y'all, thank y'all for joining us. Mm -hmm. And follow my, my friend Rebecca, and we'll see you around the town.